right guys let me know how you like that new intro other than that let's get right to it this is going to be a short video kind of an update what we've got going on we've had uh a lot of stuff happening here lately uh some stuff that's been kind of life-changing and we'll talk about that a little bit and maybe about future videos coming up but for now you know we've got some small stuff going on uh got to do a little maintenance to the trolling motor so hope we'll be able to get out in the water here soon and we got our new led lights in for the, the front navigation lights up there so that'd be nice but if you guys are on our facebook and uh anything like that that you guys are are going to see that we are freshly sponsored by lucky strike and let me tell you i'm pumped up about this i've been wanting to get on with these guys for a little while and then uh opportunity arose and was able to get everything worked out and you know now we're working together so this is this is going to be pretty awesome i'm, I'm glad we're going to get to work with them uh if you guys haven't used lucky strike you're missing out i'll tell you that right now so um uh, some of the uh some of the stuff that you guys are probably going to recognize most is probably going to be their their uh, square bills now i honestly i love their square bills they've got awesome little crankbaits i mean they catch a lot of fish uh you know uh when you guys get on there and you start checking out their stuff i mean guys i use this stuff a lot and they've got awesome paint uh awesome action and i mean they're just they never fail to me i mean i've had fish hit them right on the right on the drop and like that's an awesome crankbait right now in my opinion i mean you get the smaller stuff right there that you know dies maybe five to eight or something like that and i mean this is a little bit smaller square bill but still you'll be able to key on on them and you know if you guys are out chasing white bass that's awesome time to throw them too i mean these things will catch everything and like see this is some of the ones that i'm ready to throw these smoothies and stuff like that i mean these these dudes just got awesome paint job i mean just look at the it's got to do with their egg splatter or i think that might be called the real deal or something like that but love them i absolutely love them so if you guys like lucky strike or you want to give lucky strike a try go down to the description of this video and every video that we got the website is going to be true north outfitters.com okay and we kind of got blessed by lucky strike and they hooked us up with the promotional code to give to you guys which gives you not 10 percent not 15 but 20 percent off okay and there is not very many companies that's going to give you guys up that much allowance so take advantage of this code use it now uh like i said you got to get on true north outfitters get on there and guys i think i ordered this maybe two days ago and here we are doing a video on it so you guys need to make sure and check this out some of the plastics that we got we'll go over this first um i used to use these a long time ago i you know really used to use them a lot i used to really like them so these are their 10 inch uh lucky struck round worms and i'm pretty sure these are called the baby Hueys here uh but it's an awesome worm and you know you can fish this texas rig uh, if you like swimming worms, you can swim them. There's a lot of action on that tail and that body being such so many different segments and stuff. You see all the different segments, and then you got the paddle tail at the end. Like it just gives it a lot more action. And uh, another thing, especially if you're working and you know you guys got that that fish and tore it up. You guys know how I am about saving plastic salt. You know, right there, just tear that segment off, pinch it off, cut it off, pull it off that segment. And then start fresh so right there you know i mean it's still going to give you excellent action so the way that i'm going to approach this because uh i just love fishing our stuff but i'm going to actually have this on a uh, black fox outdoor shaggy head and, and you know what guys you know i plug our stuff and you know what go get whatever shaggy head you like if you, if you like the hooker heads go for it but I'm going to tell you right now, the only reason that I push our stuff so much is because, you know, I've been fishing for 10 or 15 years now. Okay, I'm no pro, never going to claim to be, but I'm going to tell you, I have learned what I like and what I don't like. Okay, so I mean, when we took through and we made all these jigs and made all these shaky heads and our swing heads, guys, we are making them a certain way for a reason. We're trying to stand out and we're trying to do better than everybody else on the market. So, as you can see right here, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to get bit. Okay? This is our Black Fox Outdoor Shaky Head. And like I said, they tear up your worm, cut it down a little bit and go again. 
but give it that weedless approach okay and the worm's still pretty you know fairly straight there a little bit heavier weight which is another thing i'm getting at with our shaky heads it's kind of hard to find if you go to the store heavier shaky heads okay now we can do that and hopefully here soon we'll be able to go on up to half ounce three quarters in that region so be watching for that if you guys want an even heavier shaker head to get down that deep water and like guys i'm not gonna lie to you this is probably where i'm gonna be using this because that's where the bass are right now they're out deep so you can catch some up shallow i'm not saying you can't but i'm definitely telling you this is going to be a tool that i'm gonna be using trying to find some so but if you're a texas, a texas rig guy or you know what a carolina rig there is absolutely no reason that that worm is not going to get you bit. If you guys are fishing that and you're not getting bit, simple solution going on. There's no fish in the lake. I'll give you that right now. But, uh, you know, we've been trying out all kinds of trailers. And here, I'm not going to lie to you, we've used a lot of uh, net-based trailers. Like them. Love them. I'm not talking trash about them uh, in any way. Awesome price, stuff like that. But... Guys, I'm going to tell you, we got to try on some of these drop-dead uh, crawls by uh, Lucky Strike as a trailer. And you guys want to talk about a little trailer. Now, that dude right there, I'm telling you, I mean, you can kind of see how how the paddles are. You know, they're not necessarily out to the side, so it's going to be a lot of quick, tight action together. I mean, it's definitely going to work like, kind of like a boot tail on a minnow. So, I mean, it's going to be a lot of... A lot of action, and if you guys have fished anything with a paddle tail, you know, you can pull it slow and it still works, okay? Where a lot of stuff, if you are working it and you're pulling it slow, you know, it may not have that action like what you have when you pull it fast. And, and like net baits, is a whole ton of action whenever you're, you're pulling it fast, okay? For this right here, you know, it don't take very much water to generate some action out of that. But I don't think it's going to be over the top. I think it's going to be a great subtle approach, uh... You know, a lot of times I have I have to go up a little, a little bigger. You know, whenever I'm using these plastics. So one thing that I do like about this is that slender profile on that, and you're not going to have to cut it down or do anything like that. When you start messing with some of the Rage Tail stuff, Strike King plastics, not talking trash on them. I understand. I like them too, so I don't want people in the comments saying, "Hey, down with you because you don't like Strike King." No, it ain't nothing to do with that. I fished their stuff for quite a while, but. I'm turning around liking this stuff better for a reason. And I'm going to be honest with you. I think what's going to get a lot more bites is some of these off-the-wall stuff that not everybody's throwing. Now, you go to one boat and you show me one boat that ain't got striking in it. Good luck. You're probably not going to find a whole lot of them. Now, you go show me somebody who is using the Black Fox Outdoors jigs who just catches fish anyways. And then they're out here with these drop-dead, you know, crawls trailered up you tell me who's doing that there's not going to be a ton of people uh besides you know me jason you know pro stab tournament partner uh cabbage you know our our film tech there i mean there's not a whole lot of people going to be doing that but there's a reason we do it compared to any other thing we're looking for something good good action and we're also looking for something that not everybody else is throwing because that's half the game guys if they get out there and a fish sees something you know fish sees that jig come by because i mean we're we're talking about the jig days of summer i mean jig is 24 7 do not get me wrong jigs will get bit year round they will okay but we're talking about out deep ledges points brush piles everything right now you throw a big nasty black fox outdoors jig out there and you feel that dude chomp that bait and you reel down and you look like Gerald Swindle out there talking about his KFC on in his 299 cell swinging that rod you're gonna come back and there's gonna be a fish on the end of this hook I'm telling you it's gonna happen so you know as far as colors I stick pretty uh, pretty simple okay I stick pretty simple I, I got green pumpkin okay green pumpkin and I've got watermelon you do not necessarily have to match the jig, okay? Now, this is our jawbreaker. I would fish this with watermelon or whatever, okay? And a lot of times, we'll talk about it later, but a lot of times I'll go through and take my spiket pins, maybe color up the tips a little bit. Give it that edge. Give it that little something different than what they're, you know, used to seeing. So, 
I know we've talked about this again, but I'm going to go over it one more time. So pull your skirt up, okay? Put your hook next to your bait, okay? So you see right here, I'm holding it up, and you can see where it comes out. So that section right here behind that second leg is where that hook's going to have to come out, okay? And this is another thing I like about these. You really don't have to cut these baits or trim them down. So I'm going to come in here, push my brush guard to the side, keep this hook in the center of that bait, and it's a lot easier honestly doing it on this bait and keeping it in the center for the simple fact of uh there's not a whole lot of wild body or it's not smashed out wide nothing like that and push it up on there just like so now look at that look at that right there that's what i'm telling you you know what if you want to swim a jig that's going to get it boys that's going to get it right there. If you're swimming that jig on the bottom and you're kind of popping your rod every once in a while, getting that skirt bouncing, that's going to get it. You throw it out there, fish it slow around the rocks, that's going to get it. Okay, now we can throw a watermelon on there. We can orange on the tips. We can put red on the tips. If you want to get wild and polka dotted blue, whatever, this is going to get bit, boys. I'm telling you right here, this is it. So the modifications that I do to my jigs, we talked about that, but I'm going to go real quick because I really think it's really important. We leave everything long, including the brush guard, okay? So what I'll do is, is I'll go down and hold it. A lot of times, that's the distance. You see that little bit of space past the hook where I cut it? Most generally, that's where I cut it. Some people like long jig skirts, so I'm going to leave that option open to you. We're not going to trim them down to where we fish. Part of this fishing game is, do it how you catch fish. But if you're wondering how we do it, this is how we do it. We're not necessarily the same. This is the only way, okay? Brush guard is the next thing I trim. Okay, now if you guys fished our jigs from a year ago to now, we're talking about night and day difference, okay? We've did a lot of things. We've hand tied our skirts so the skirts don't come off, okay? You can sit here and pull. I mean, you're going to tear your strands up and all that before you actually get the skirt slide down. So, next thing is, is our brush guard. We went with a little bit stiffer brush guard, okay? So you don't have to worry about getting hung up anymore, nothing like that as much. And look, okay? You see the barb of the hook is right there. Okay, we want to trim that brush guard pretty much even to the barb of the hook. Okay, that to me is a perfect spot. That bass comes down, right there's what's going to happen. He's going to get all mouth in that hook. All right, not a ton of plastic in the way to, to wad up. I mean, he's still going to get it. Even if it hooks back into that plastic, there's still not enough that's going to make you miss that bite. Okay, because I'm telling you, it's going to be a violent hit. Nine times out of ten, they, they're chomping this thing, especially out deep. You're going to know they got a hold of it. Uh, now you can fish points, you can fish fish the bank. I mean, this here is a three quarter ounce football head. You can tell we've been banging off some rocks where I told you guys to go fish. So, <coughs> as far as the crankbaits, or crankbaits, stuff like that, if I can talk here, uh, you're gonna go cranking, here's some stuff to remember. Square bills, make sure and try to stay around, uh, I mean, you can throw this stuff around the weeds, you can throw this stuff around uh, brush, do not be afraid to try to get a square bill stuck, okay? If you're not fishing this stuff in the brush, uh, stuff that you're bouncing off of, you're not doing it right, okay? You can throw and reel, throw and reel, but the idea thing to fish a square bill is, if you see a brush lay down, it's in shallow water, whatever, throw it in there, okay? That is part of the, the deal with the square bill. I'm not going to say that you're never going to get hung up, but if you're not getting hung up every once in a while, you're not doing it right. Okay, throw that stuff in there. That little bill a lot of times is going to hit and deflect. Hit and deflect. That's what this bill is designed for. Okay, let me pull this one out. That little square bill right there, that's what that baby is designed for. It's going to come along. It's going to hit and flip over. So, keep that in mind. You're going to get a lot of bites doing that that way. Now that uh, straight retrieve, you know, you guys got to remember that, that you can get bites. Now, if there is absolutely nothing out there to get you that bite, uh, reel that thing along, pop your rod every once in a while, you know, stop, go, stop, go, whatever. Give it that different presentation and, uh, you know, to get that bite. You got to do that something extra to get that bite. So, other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, jigs, shaky heads, like I said, you can do it, you can do it on a Texas rig if you want. We're probably going to start out with a shaky head just because it's been hot. That's been hot here lately, along with our jigs. That's why 
I'm showing you two things we're mainly rigging up. Now the other thing that's hot right now is crankbaits. Okay, we're catching them crankbaits. We just posted a picture on Facebook. Now we do have a giveaway coming up. Okay, today is like July, or no, we're into August now. We're into August, my bad. We're like August 2nd now. So uh, August 1st, August 2nd, whatever it is, we got a giveaway coming up, okay? So we might try to give away a few jigs. So you need to get on Facebook, Instagram, okay? Get on Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you sub here, okay? Go right down there, hit that sub. You ain't got to hit the bell if you don't want it. But we would appreciate it if you do. Keep up with our videos. Make sure you give us a view or two. Um, now here's the deal. We're going to post a giveaway. The secret's going to be here on YouTube. So everybody's already had their giveaways on all our other social platforms. So here's going to be the giveaway that I know that you watched our YouTube video. Get on there, sub on YouTube. That's what's going to be, make you eligible. Sub to our social platform on Facebook. Instagram, okay, that'd be great. But make sure it's going to be on Facebook. Get down in the comments and post something like, I watch your YouTube, I watch, I sub your YouTube, put something about YouTube in the comments, okay? Share that post, but make sure and post that on the main post on Black Fox Outdoors page. Comment that on the main post and share the page, okay? Do that, you guys are going to be eligible for a giveaway, and then hopefully the next giveaway, we might uh, get us another order of these in, and we might try to get some of these away. So you never know. You never know what's going to happen. So we, got, we definitely have some giveaways coming up, and if you guys want to Get keyed in, you know, get keyed in on this stuff and this stuff right here, guys. I'm gonna tell you right now. You can go buy this without a discount code and still get it cheaper than a lot of your uh you know your other brands. And I'm telling you that these right here is gonna make a big difference in your boat or on the bank, wherever you're fishing. So go use our promo code, which is gonna be located about right here somewhere. We'll put we'll put it right here, okay? So there's the promo code. Go to True North Outfitters. Dot com. Do all your order. Go all the way to the end of the checkout where it says gift cards, promos. Type it in. Type in that code I just showed you. If you need it again, check the description. So I know it's been a long video, guys. Thanks for hanging in there. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Hopefully, this next one we'll get back on the water and we'll get everything back at it. Later, guys. <laughs>